Hello everyone. It is really kind of a mixed bag of blessings for me and my husband that we ended up in Susanville, California way earlier than we expected. And here's the reason why and I'll try to keep it brief. Just before we left Tennessee, we were told that our health insurance was not going to cover me for anything except a catastrophic event. And then we were also told that our RV, our motorhome, was not going to be covered uh, insurance-wise either. And both of these things were happening because we could not provide anybody with a new residential address. And I couldn't believe that there was no middle ground for those of us who are traveling or don't have a place to live yet. Um, and there wasn't. So we just went ahead and hopped in the RV anyway, and we took our chances. Uh, wasn't going to lie to anybody and give them a false address because then I would have to change it again anyway. I didn't want to go through all that trouble. So we hightailed it to California as quickly as we could, and that was the goal from the day we left, but I wasn't able to tell any of you all that. So here we are in beautiful uh, Susanville, California, and we weren't 100% sure that that's where we wanted to be. Um, until the moment that we arrived and then our hearts just went this is home we are home it is exactly two hours away from where my two daughters live with my grandchild you may remember Brianna and Avery and my daughter Abigail so they're in Chico California and uh, then my husband has a brother in near uh, Carson City, Nevada. So we're just situated perfectly between his family, his favorite family member, sort of, and, um, and my family. So the only sad part about this whole thing was that I did not get to go see my great-grandchild, great-grandson, and... I didn't get to visit with the rest of my other grandchildren and my my daughter and son. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Lots of family in Montana. Our hands being forced this way, we decided that we would um, get our, our house settled uh, and our residence taken care of and, and that. So um, the other... <laughs> Part of my announcement then is to tell you, uh, first of all, that I am overjoyed, overjoyed to be here. I love being home. I've already gotten to visit with my daughter, Abigail. Uh, she came up to see me here at the RV park. Now, so this is what's happening. Um, you may recall if I've said it, I think I've said it in other videos, that I sold my Dodge Durango. And that was uh, because uh, it, we were concerned about having to get here so quickly and it's just it's a burden to, to tow a car. Um, so we, we saw that pretty inexpensively out in Kentucky. And so it was easier to get here. And then, uh, so when we got here, my husband was just, after the troubles we had with our RV and the troubles that we've had with our vehicles in the past, because they've always been used, and because his job is um, um, as a mechanic at Fairview Plantation, you know, taking care of all of the big machinery. He was just like, oh, Rebecca, I do not want to work on another vehicle again we need to look for houses you're getting a new car I'm getting a new car oh my god neither he nor I have ever in our lives owned a new car but that's what I did I went out and bought 
he and I bought a Ford Bronco. We are quickly becoming a family of Fords. <laughs> Ford Econoline motorhome. But anyway, uh, so this thing, it's so cute. It's yellow. It's, be it's, just, it's just beautiful. I've never had anything like this in my life. And it, I'm so happy. Oh, gosh. Um, then, um, so we're still at the RV park here, though, just outside of Susanville. And um, we're just driving around this beautiful new car, which we'd never be able to afford if not for having sold our house at such a profit in Kentucky. But, you know, we still have a very small income between my YouTube, which, you know, that, that's a very nominal amount of money that I make there, but it does certainly help us make ends meet. And his Social Security check, then we're, you know, able to swing monthly expenses and all. But the trick was to buy a new car and buy a house as well. And we know California, very expensive, so many issues, uh, taxes, oh my gosh, the thing is, it, we know, you know, a lot of people said, why would you move to California? You know, it's like, yeah, I know California's having a lot of troubles, but California is my home. You know, I was born and raised in Southern California and, um, I, I've got family in California, and so does he, and uh, the rest of my family's in Montana. So I'm a Westerner by heart, uh, in my spirit, in every way, and I have missed my family and my home for so long. So that's why I came here. Never mind politics, any other issues that there may be uh, with California. This is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is. Um, and uh, you are soon going to find that out because I'm taking some videos of this beautiful place. And um, so then we found a house. We found a house and um, it's a fixer upper. It's cute as a button, uh, but not yet. <laughs> you know, you have to have vision, but it's got good bones. And my husband is really good, as some of you may know, at, you know, remodeling and that kind of thing. So we've been able to buy that house outright. We're buying it outright. We're paying cash, full price, um, because we had a decent profit. So I will tell you at least this much that it was under $100,000. And so we were able to afford a car and a house and have a little bit left over to fix up the home. And let me, let me tell you, I, I can't tell you how much I love this town, how happy I am that I have come home. I could almost cry. Um, I have actually cried tears of joy countless times since I've been here. I just like, so please don't be sad about me leaving my old home and leaving Portland, Tennessee, because this is my home. I've been in Tennessee because I wanted to follow my husband's dream and be a part of the life of the love of my life. And it, I don't have any regrets because God has truly blessed my time in Tennessee. That's been 14 years, I think, now. And so this is a new day, a new dawn, and I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed. And, and please stay with me because remember that wherever I go, I'm bringing me with me. And it goes for people who are happy or unhappy. Wherever you go, you bring yourself with you. <laughs> so whatever you may have enjoyed about my channel, maybe it's me a little bit, you know, not just the house. And, um, and I promise you that the place that I move to is going to become charming and welcoming. And because that's how I feel about you. You are welcome. You're welcome into my life. You're welcome into my home. You're welcome into my heart. And uh, But uh, honestly, I'm not going to let you into my home until I've done a little bit of fixing up. So you're going to have to wait for that. But we've got lots of shopping. We've got a Goodwill in town and, a, and beautiful gift shops. And boy, I just can't wait to introduce you to my new hometown. 
it is so beautiful and that's part of the reason why my eyes keep drifting off and away from the camera because I am looking at big beautiful puffy white clouds in an open sky um, a lot of the West is known as big sky country and that is because we're not socked in with um, a lot of uh, you know, uh, forested green trees like um, Tennessee is. We have a different kind of forest. We have a pine forest, and that is right at the edge of town. And I'm looking forward to kind of tromping through the woods and the pines with you to show you what my truest love is in life clear running creeks and rivers and lakes and pine trees and. You know, I could just go on and on and on, and I don't know how many of you will be able to stay with me on this <laughs> little announcement. But for those of you who are concerned, um, I thank you. Thank you for sticking with me, and um, uh, keep looking. Keep looking for some regular videos, because I'm getting there. Yeah, so anyway, um, with that, I will say goodbye to you and thank you so much for keeping me in your prayers regarding my safety and my journey cats are doing great still i am still in the park while i'm making this video however by the time this video is uploaded and you get to see it i will be in my new home okay just understand that my videos are all like a week or two kind of off schedule um and that is to give me time, you know, to develop my, my films and to um, get stuff done in my personal life. And then, yeah, so, okay, quit jibber jabbering, Rebecca. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. And I, and I just hope that you're happy for me, too. Okay, much love. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mwah.